The crack of the bat and the roar of the crowd, quintessential sounds of summer. That's magical, really, when you hear that. Aaron Bagshaw and his wife Adria hit the sweet spot, buying a company that makes wooden baseball bats. It was an opportunity, and we thought we could bring our family, the whole family involved, get us all involved in, in a new venture. Baseball bats are a big departure from the 150-year-old family business. W.H. Bagshaw in Nashua is a fifth-generation company that makes precision turn parts for the medical, aerospace, and defense industries. The process of turning a bat is not that different than the process of turning a metal rod into a precision turn part. The parent company was founded by Aaron's great-great-grandfather, Walter Henry Bagshaw. This new venture also bears his name, the Walter Bat Company. So I found his signature, part of our logo, uh, on his naturalization papers that he signed in 1878. So that is his actual signature. Each bat starts off as something called a billet, a long cylinder of maple, birch, or ash. Operations manager Patrick Harvey handcrafts the WB-71, the company's most popular bat. Well, I'm very excited about this. I'm a huge baseball fan, a big Red Sox fan. Patrick grabs a maple billet, checks it for imperfections. There are no inclusions such as knots, um, and the grain is, 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 as straight, uh, is straighter than three degrees. The straighter the grain, the stronger the bat. Every degree beyond three degrees uh, weakens the bat by 10%. He verifies the billet's weight and then prepares it for cutting. Before it goes through the lathe, one last visual inspection, double checking the grain is parallel. The billet is placed on the spindle and the specs loaded. The WB-71 will measure 33 inches and weigh 30 ounces. But you can get a bat custom made, choosing your own specifications. The billet turns in the lathe for eight minutes. When it comes out, it's shaped into a baseball bat. Here you can see the finished, the finished cut came out great. The wood is now hand sanded to remove any roughness. Looks great, I can't see any um, striations. Surface is nice and buttery. Next, the ends are removed. <laughs> then the drum sander smooths the top and bottom. Looks beautiful. It feels good too, good swing weight. The scale confirms the weight. Right on the money. And now, the finishing touches. This is the painting booth. The bats are hand-stained or spray-painted. Youth leagues, rec leagues, and travel teams use Walter bats, customized with team colors and logos. And although the bats are major league baseball quality, they're not in the hands of big leaguers yet. We've had a lot of discussions around, you know, should we eventually try to work on getting into the majors? And we may, but the opportunity we feel really strongly about right now is working in the community. And, you know, we've been able to hand, a, you know, a 12, 13 year old their first wood bat. Yeah. And that to me is just pure magic. Let's see if I can create some magic. I jump in the cage and take some pitches from Cam Cook, the general manager of the Nashua Silver Knights. It feels good. The bat feels, whoa! I'm calling that one a home run. New Hampshire Chronicle photographer Chris Shepard spots the challenge. He drops the camera and picks up a bat. Chris played Little League, so let's see what he's got. I think we both did pretty well. Yeah. Home, home run or two? <laughs> yeah. yeah, at least an RBI. Nothing like bringing a little old-fashioned New Hampshire craftsmanship to a game built on centuries of tradition.